Hi right, guys, James Ramage here for another Q&A for Fast Fat Loss for Life. So, let me get the questions for you today. So, I had a bit of an interesting week and our questions revolve around nutrition. So look, first one is, question is, why do I feel tired after I eat? Well, look, I'd have to really look at exactly what you're eating, but there's a couple of reasons why I'd say you'd be feeling tired. One, you've got sugar uh, in your diet of some sort of um, artificial carbohydrates. So what's happening is that your insulin is actually spiking, so you find you actually have energy for a short period of time, but then drops on the other side, uh, so you feel a little bit tired. Um, so again, the other reason might be is that you're eating a little bit too much for your body, and your body just simply can't process it, and you do feel tired if you become full. Should you be eating egg yolks? Look, it has been... Uh, look. Recent research has shown um, that there is no evidence to say that you shouldn't be eating egg yolks. Look, ideally eat organic eggs and organic eggs only. Um, you know, for the cases that unfortunately the poor chickens in those cages um, get pumped full of hormones, get passed onto the eggs and get passed on to us. So ideally eat organic eggs as much as you can, eat the egg yolks and the egg, and egg whites as much as you like. Um, is brown bread or white bread better? Well, look, which is the lesser of two evils? Um, now, as I mentioned in the first question, look, any kind of breads, grains, um, artificial carbohydrates like uh, along these lines, white flour, this kind of stuff, is actually going to spike your insulin. Um, and what happens is when you when you spike your insulin, your body is then prone to be putting on weight. Um, so you certainly don't want to be doing that. You want to be avoiding anything that's going to spike your insulin. Now, brown bread and white breads are going to do it. If I was going to pick one, it would be brown bread. Uh, and it would be eaten um, very sparingly. Um, next one is, after I um, have a cheat day, I put on weight, why is that? Well, look, what, what happens is that on your cheat day, uh, most likely you're gonna be eating carbohydrates, you're gonna be eating sugars. Now your body is actually, now what happens is that that stuff absorbs water, uh, fluid in your body, uh, so therefore you will hold on to that weight. So ideally, look, if you've gotta have a cheat day, try and minimize that to an actual cheat meal, um, you'll find that uh, your success rate will be much higher. Uh, next one, um, should I have my protein shake before or after my workout? Afterwards, absolutely afterwards. Beforehand, look, have a little snack, something light. A um, cup of coffee is fine, that's what I do. I have a cup of coffee um, to give me a little bit of energy uh, for my workout, um, but definitely post-workout protein shake is a must. I have an afternoon muesli bar, is that right? No, again, look, this ties into the bread question and the very first question. Look, anything with grains along those lines, you've got sugar, you've got artificial rubbish in it, it's gonna spike your insulin. Um, and then it's going to crash. So one, you're going to be feeling tired, and two, you're going to be putting on weight. So avoid that. Afternoon snack-wise, look, um, try about 15 um, almonds, um, raw almond kernels. It's fantastic, or, or a protein shake. Okay. So guys, there it is. Um, that's this week's uh, Q and A for Fast Fat Loss for Life. Please leave me any questions um, down below. But otherwise, we'll chat to you very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.